I'm Jennifer Victor. I'm a propagating attendant at Ashingham Propagating Station. I've been here from the 16th of March 2010, so I would be here like 14 years. And um, I do a bit of everything. We, from the potting, the cleaning, the preparation of the bin, the setting of the bin, the washing of the cloth, the washing of the covers, and everything. Every, basically everything we, I do. So, it's a, it's a, a good thing for the farmers especially. Um, the reason why I'm telling you it's good, we have um, the prices, the price rate. It's very reasonable. Most of the plants say it's like the range is between $5 and 12 We do both economic plants and ornamental plants. So the economic plants we have like, we'll have proper like low as $2. We'll have passion fruit like $3.50. We'll have nutmegs, $1. We would have um, spices like the cinnamon and them, $1. We have um, pimento, $1. We have the, the um, the bottom or the bay leaf for one dollar. The, the cloves are five, but the range is just between five and twelve, nothing higher. So I think it's a good thing the farmers get to buy actually a bit of everything from here. My name is Valerie Thomas. Tell us how long you've been working here and what you do. Just a couple months. As, as the first speaker said, we do a, mainly everything. A little of everything. From the parting to the clean, a little of everything. My name is Mary Bartholomew Sylvester, supervisor at the Ashenen Propagation Station and I does everything here. Today I am doing grafting. Before grafting, we go out to the field and select a healthy mango. So the part we select a little side on. What we have in the bag here is the rootstock. We also want to make sure the scion that we've taken from the mother tree is the one that we want to put on on the good stuff. Seeds are not true to type, so it's always better to use a branch or cuttings, or cutting from the branch. The good stock, we prepare the root stock. It is in bag. The size have to be like a pen or a pencil, and then the scion we take in have to match the scion. So you have to be actually the same size. Normally, when it's flushing like this, it's excellent. So it's not too hard, it's not too soft. It's just right. So I'm going to demonstrate one. You cut the top of the scion, remove this. Any leaf below, you remove it. You try to make a sharp cut like this. Like this. So you have a wedge. Then you slit this iron, make sure it's equal in half. You insert the scion into the rootstock. This is done about one inches. Use a budding tape. And you're going to wrap from the bottom up to the top. And you don't want to wrap too slack, you don't want to wrap too tight. You want to wrap it just right. Put a plastic bag. After this, you put a plastic bag. This is to reduce evaporation. 
in about three weeks time, the cyan would shoot out and then you have your new plant. You want to be putting a label on it. Like today's date is the 6th of the 3rd month 24 and the name of the mango, Julie Ceylon. In this case is Ceylon. It is very important because come June, the farmers and other stakeholders doesn't want to know if we had COVID, if we were sick, if we couldn't get plants, if we couldn't go out. All they want to know when June come, the plant is ready and they're ready to purchase. I like doing this because I enjoy doing this. It's like an exercise to make you think. You get to go out to meet farmers. You get to feel good about what you do. It's just like doing this. It's like a newborn babe. And you want to see the outcome of what you do. 